We're back, everyone, talking about the importance of increasing those omega-3s in your life. Now, Richard, you really piqued our interest right before the break. Yes. Because it is so true. We saw how important it is starting in the cradle years with the little ones, pregnancy, mm -hmm. all the way mm -hmm. through the teen, through midlife. Mm -hmm. But when we get to be in our senior years, so many challenges are placed in front of us. Oh, absolutely. And the greatest fear Americans have, it's not bankruptcy, it's not global warming, <laughs> it's not cancer, it's not having a heart attack, it's dementia in your senior years. If you poll people who are, you know, 60, 65, they're approaching those senior years. That's their biggest fear is, will I be able to care for myself? All these years of hard work, will I be able to enjoy life, you know, maybe travel a little, see the kids, this type of thing, or will I become demented with Alzheimer's? I mean, it's a major concern for us. Right. And Alzheimer's disease, eating fish at least once a week, reduces the risk of dementia by up to 70%. And if you have already been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it will slow its progression. It will not reverse it, but it will slow it. Okay? Pretty amazing. Parkinson's disease. University of Laval found from animal studies that omega-3s reduce the inflammatory markers, the chemicals in the bloodstream that are known to promote Parkinson's disease. Now there's a lot of work that needs to be done on that, but it appears as though it'll help reduce Parkinson's disease too. Silent brain damage and many strokes, this is a growing issue. A Finnish research found that omega-3s reduce the risk of silent brain infarcts. These are tiny little strokes that accumulate over time and lead to dementia. They're just tiny, little, little bitty ones, not a big stroke, little bitty ones, but they add up to cause dementia, vascular dementia. Uh, here's one, Japanese researchers found those with elevated cholesterol who had a first stroke, if they started omega-3s, they were 54% less likely to have a second stroke. And we get asked that question almost every week on this program. I've had a stroke, how do I prevent the next one? Omega-3s. That's how you do it, among some other things, you know. Keep your pressure down, exercise, all those other things, too. Uh, Age-related macular degeneration after the dementia fear, losing your eyesight is right up there next to it. London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine found those with the highest EPA and DHA, that's the omega-3 components from fish oil, were 70% less likely to develop wet age-related macular degeneration. Okay? 70%. That's pretty amazing. Osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, spine pain, omega-3s reduce the inflammatory components, reduce the number of painful joints, the frequency of flare-up of painful joints. A University of Pittsburgh study found those with disc disease. Have you ever had a disc? You know how painful they are. 60% of those, if they take omega-3s, are able to stop their pain medicine. That's pretty amazing. You need it anyway for your heart. It'll help with your chronic pain. Osteoporosis, a Swedish study found men who consume omega-3s, have the strongest bones. Here's one very important for men. Uh, those with low omega-3 intake for men were five times more likely to have advanced aggressive prostate cancer. Isn't that amazing? Low omega-3s, five times more likely to have advanced aggressive prostate cancer. Tough one. All right, Very so tell us disease. quickly, how are we going to get this in our diet? Well, you can have small fish that have not lived a long period of time, fish that are like a swordfish, a shark, this type of thing, 50 years in the water, they think, you know. That's enough time to accumulate a lot of mercury. So small fish like salmon, okay, herring, sardines, tuna, mackerel, trout, this type of thing. Maybe five years these salmon live. That's the best way to do it. Fish that you should avoid are shark, swordfish, marlin, ray, gemfish, tilefish, orange ruffy. They live longer. They accumulate more mercury. Okay? Mm -hmm. And some regions of the Earth's great oceans have higher mercury contamination. Okay? Uh, plant source, you can get omega-3s from plant sources that does not contain DHA or EPA. That's the disadvantage. The advantage is it's pure and clean. See, that's the big advantage. Flaxseed oil is a great way to get it, plus flaxseed oil has lignans, which help with prostate health. Canola oil has a little omega-3s. Walnuts, soy oil, almonds. Walnuts are fantastic for the... One handful of walnuts a day, 60% reduction in cardiovascular disease rates. It's amazing. Almonds, avocados, kiwi fruit. Who would have thought a fruit would have it? But it does, kiwi fruit. And, of course, your green leafy vegetables like, veg like uh, spinach. But that EPA, DHA, that's a unique fish and algae from the sea phenomena. Kale, kale, not kale. Uh, what is that little algae that the uh, microplankton that the fish eat and it 
accumulates up. Those are your two sources. Yeah, two sources of omega-3. Well, folks, what have we learned? Your health depends on having omega-3s in your diet. There's overwhelming evidence that Americans do not get enough omega-3s. They get too many sixes. Eating fish or taking a fish oil supplement is an effective way to preserve health and vital function. Make a change in your life and in your health. It's worth the effort.